taxpayer identification number and certification. Yep. Uh, the name shown on your income tax return. Name is required on this line. Do not leave this uh, line blank. Yeah. Business name could be uh, Child Support Services of the State of Washington. Yeah. Appropriate box for federal classification. Individual, corporation, as corporation, partnership, trust. Mm -hmm. Limited liability company. Your actual address. Mm -hmm. Uh, account numbers here optional and then your social security number yeah and then certification uh, under the penalties of perjury I certify that the number on this form is my correct taxpayer identification number yeah mm -hmm. or I'm waiting for a number to be issued to me and I am not subject to any backup withholding because I am exempt from backup withholding yes I have not been notified by the Internal Revenue Service that I'm subject to backup withholding as a result of failure to report. Mm -hmm. The IRS has notified me that I'm no longer subject to back holding or reholding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the signature of the U.S. person? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it Heidi Lee Budner or Heidi Lee Budnick? Oh. Date? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as I understand alimony, it could be taxable to the petitioner? Yes. And then the child support payments that I'm obligated to pay? Yes. Am I considered a U.S. person from the Internal Revenue Service? Mm -hmm. See, any time that you decide to garnish an account, yes, and you don't require uh, any verification of the actual individual known as the taxpayer, poo, uh, Department of Treasury, Internal Revenue Service? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say that I'm suing you for the financial institution fraud of violating the requirements of the law. Yes, to be able to buy uh, the, to be able to verify the identity of any garnishment of any account in the United States of America. <laughs> now, yesterday was bad. Pooch. Today it's a lot worse <laughs> because each and every state of the United States mm -hmm, has taken upon themselves to garnish um, accounts because of court orders or administrative orders. Yes without verification of the actual identity of the person. <coughs> now, let's say I just worded this, worded this lawsuit. Yes. So as to help myself, so, so well, I, I'd like to get another $100 billion if I could today. <laughs> now, it might be possible to get double that amount. <laughs> and then we're talking about restitution. Yes, we are. <laughs> and the additional 18% a year thereafter. <laughs> now, if the individuals in the police department... Mm -hmm, would consider that any time you issue a court order for child support, mm -hmm, the actual identity of the individual is needed to be verified, yes, by, yes, mm -hmm, the actual mm -hmm, bank. Mm -hmm. Now, when you issue this dissolution of marriage, right, you had no jurisdiction in law because of the United Nations. Yes. <laughs> when you issue the dissolution of marriage and I didn't get any notice of court hearings, yes, you had an obligation on the part of the Internal Revenue Service <laughs> to verify the identity mm -hmm, of the person that received the child support order. <laughs> and then each and every state of the United States is legally obligated to verify mm -hmm, the identity mm -hmm, of the garnishment poo. Now, I'm really wanting to use the courts of the United States and that class action lawsuit that involved yesterday, yes, you issuing fraudulent court orders that are being used in financial institutions mm -hmm, has now become the class action lawsuit, yes, that involves the internal <laughs>